Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity, and today we're actually going to be diving into a little bit of cloud scripting with Wavefab. Now, I have been playing around with it for quite a while now, and um, I think I finally understand cloud scripting a little bit, at least enough for me to get you guys started as well. And one of the most uh, requested things to do with cloud script was to add currency um, so that it's a little bit more secure than uh, enabling the client to just add the currency. So, what we are going to do is go to your automation. I've actually done this a few times. Um, so, yeah, I'm up to revision 5, but you'll probably have revision 1. Um, unless you have done uh, tests before. Um, anyway, so, by default... Cloud scripting has something called the handler or handlers, sorry. And basically using this, we want to add our own function. So in my case, I'm going to add current uh, currency, uh, or maybe we'll give it, say something like add bronze currency so that, um, uh, so it's just going to be like a static 100, um, that, that it'll always give us. Uh, and then we want to make this equal to a function. And we want to give it the... What was it? Um, so the args and then the context. As far as I know, you can pass through any argument through the args. The context is something else. I still don't really understand what this is for. But if you don't, use it it's just going to default to null so um yeah that's it's fine for you to just leave that there and now we want to just create our brackets from bracket our curly brackets i'm not sure if you guys can see this is this hopefully i'll zoom in a bit hopefully that helps put that one all on me but hopefully you guys can see that a bit better it is a bit small um, and now we do ser whoops, not in capitals, we do server dot add user virtual currency, I believe it is. And now let's see. Uh, so we want to have our play fab ID, I believe. And this is going to be our current PlayFab ID. Ah, uh, sorry, no. That's going to be the current player ID. Alright, and so our next argument is our... Um, I believe it is our virtual currency. I'm just looking back and forth, and the way my monitor is right now, it's really hard for me to um to, to look at the dots. Alright, so now we want to pass virtual uh, currency. And for this case, I have a virtual currency called coins. Um, and its code is CO. So what I want to put here is CO. And then in the next argument, uh, I believe. Okay, so the next one is amount. And then we can just set this one to 100. Okay, so. Oh, and also. Uh, we need to put our curly brackets before any of this. I was wondering why it wasn't color coding or anything like that. And then we just want to do a simple return. And it's going to be message value. And we'll just say added 100. 100. Let's see. Alrighty. So... This should be basically the start of your very 
uh, a very basic way to add 100, 100 cur currency when you call it uh, inside our game. So what we need to do in order for this to go live is save. Over here there's a button that says save as a revision 6. It says save as a revision 6 for me, but it will be whatever incrementing number you are. So if you're at revision 2, it will say save as a revision 3. So I'm going to click this button. It will say save your changes as a revision 6. I will go save. Alrighty, so now it says deploy revision 6. That's what we want to click so that it becomes our live cloud script. And now let's head over to our game. So I'm just doing this in the multiplayer FPS because um, this already has our, all our login and registration stuff completed. So there's not really anything that uh, I need to do in that regard. Um, so all I've done is disabled the scene manager to load the next scene so that we can see it working. Um, but what we want to say is uh, playfab. Play fab client API dot uh, execute script, and I believe we need to say new execute cloud script request, and then we want to have our result, or we'll call it cloud result, and these are just our callbacks, and then we'll have our uh, our cloud error and again just uh I'll back. okay so yep uh make all righty so this is the start of greatness right here so the first thing we want to call is function name and in this case, our function name is, I believe we call it add bronze current. So this, uh, yeah, so add bronze currency. So this is the function that we want to call. The next thing is our function parameter. And this can be anything. Um, as far as I can tell. So for example, I can just say testing and we can make this value equal to I'm a test. We could also have um, uh, Oh yeah, this needs to Alright, uh, we could also have something like I don't know, we could say player health for example equal to 100 uh so you can do heaps of things and this is just this is all passed in uh in this argument here so see i'm not too sure how to actually get that information just yet i believe it's like something like args dot and then it will be the name so in this case if i wanted to get testing it would be testing so i could do something like var test equals uh, testing and I believe that should get the value so I'm just gonna actually leave that there because I haven't done this before and if the cloud script returns an error then it's wrong if it doesn't then cool we just got a value from our argument um okay so the final thing I want to show you guys is a thing called generate play stream event I'm just gonna equal this to true and we would just uh, it's basically an array, so, okay. So, this is basically it. We are now executing a cloud script. So, what this generate place from event will do is, we have uh, our dashboard here, right? And in this dashboard, we have a play stream monitor. This actually gives you live events of everything that happens within the game. Um, so... Let's go to our player that I'm going to log in with and refresh the virtual currency. His current currency is 5,200. If I go ahead and log in, uh, what I'll do is have them side by side so you can actually. Go. Okay. 
So you can actually see the uh, the play stream. So if I log in, should see everything work. We've logged in. Uh, player has been given virtual currency. Player executed cloud script and it has been successful. If there was a problem, there would be an error here. So with that being said, we go look in our player now. We now have 5,300. Nice. All right. So I guess I was right in regarding to... Oh, wait, hold on. We never actually saved that uh, revision. So unfortunately, every time we do this, so let's just say test equals uh, dot testing. So every time we do this, uh, our edit our uh, cloud script, we need to save it as a revision. And then we need to deploy it. I don't know why they made it like this. It's kind of annoying. And as far as I can tell, you can't actually delete any of your revisions once you've made them. So they kind of just stack up over time. All right. So now that uh, we have uh, actually pushed that to live, let's go back into our play stream. And let's see if we get any errors with our cloud script unfortunately if you do have an error with cloud script i haven't figured out a way for it to tell you exactly what it wants you to do all right we've logged in uh virtual balance change executed success okay so i guess i was right <laughs> so if we wanted to get uh go back to the cloud script so basically, this var test equals args.testing contains the value I'm a test. So for example, if we wanted to uh, change the amount of virtual currency we get, which wouldn't be recommended because then this would be making the cloud script unsafe again, we could make it uh, amount and then we could give this an amount. But then because this is client side now, uh, um, it can easily be changed. So maybe something that you could do is have um, a reward type, right? And maybe you set this equal to some kind of string, like maybe bronze or silver, you know, so something along those lines. And then... Uh, in where'd it go in our cloud script uh so this is javascript so i'm really bad with javascript my main language is c sharp so forgive me if i'm doing something wrong so in this we could say something like args dot uh what did i call it reward type is equal to bronze so if it is equal to bronze then we want to give them 100 currency. Uh, if it's equal to... Don't need this var test anymore either. Um, if it's equal to, let's say, silver, let's give them uh, 200. And if it's equal to gold, let's do something ridiculous like giving them 2,000. And then we'll just change this to added reward. So let's see if my coding skills are correct. <laughs> In Java anyway. Alright, so let's deploy revision 8. So, over here we have our reward type currently set to bronze. So, if this does work, we should get 100 currency in our current user. So, let's just reload this. So, it's the correct value. And let's go back to our playstream event, playstream monitor rather. Alright, so let's uh, log in with the correct account first. Log in. I logged in. Uh, play virtual currency added. Success. Alright, so that's good. 
So, we've added 100 currency. Let's try silver. Silver should give us 200 currency. Let's try this again. So remember, our new currency is 5,500. So let's go test. Let's log in. All right, virtual currency added. 500, 500, 5, 5,000, 500 to 5,000, 5, I cannot speak. Um, and you can see that it is working. So, our last one to check is our gold, I believe we called it. There it is. Huge jump. Alrighty, well, I said that's a pretty successful run there. I kind of taught myself uh, something new. <laughs> um, so now I have a better understanding with this whole cloud scripting thing as well. Um, so yeah, the, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the cloud script is Java. So very similar to C Sharp, not quite. You do kind of need to get used to it if you uh, if your main language is C sharp, like my own, um, but yeah, basically we have now some pretty safe code. It's not that safe. I mean, someone could still, if they're a a decent hacker, they could still change this value, um, and set it to the other reward types. Uh, but at least they won't be able to just you know, say, give their account. 2 million uh, coins, they can only give their account the reward size, um, but I guess you can stop it by kind of, uh, kind of encoding the value I guess. There is a anti-cheat kit on the Unity Asset Store, and you can basically pass strings f through it and it turns it into like, kind of like ran random text and hides it from stuff like Cheat Engine. So you could use that and make it super difficult. Um, still a chance that they can get through, but you're making it harder for them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned a little something from this video. I definitely know I did. <laughs> learned a lot more uh, now than starting it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And remember, if you need any help, we do have a Discord server. Um, and there are plenty of people there, including myself, who would love to help you out. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.